we showed the P1 at Paris, if, if you like, sort of two thirds of the way through its, its development and the car, we knew at that point that the car was essentially right. Um, we had quite a lot of development testing still to finish. Some very, very small changes that you'll see on the car and of course we're able now to reveal the full production specification so you can see the interior. You can see the car now as the lucky customers will, will actually buy the car later this year. McLaren as a brand is 50 years old. Um, a lot of people know we're celebrating 50 years. Um, and most of that 50 years have all, have all been about the racetrack. We have the most incredible race history in Formula One with 182 F1 wins. Every fourth race we win a race, every second race we're on the podium and it's staggering history. And we talk about we talk about our sports cars being born on the track. And that's literally true. The, these are sports cars for the road but incredibly capable cars on the track. And that's not a surprise when you look at our engineering team. A very big proportion of our engineering team are people who've come out of racing. So they really know how to develop incredible dynamics for a vehicle. And I think that's what sets us apart. Whilst this car is, is very usable, it is really probably the best sports car on the road today. Heritage is important in that it puts you in context. But it isn't heritage that designs the next car. What designs the next car are our real cutting edge engineers. So the technology you're seeing on our cars, really, you, you can say we have a carbon fiber tub and we introduced a carbon fiber tub 30 years ago on the Formula One car. The carbon fiber tub we have today is absolutely you know, at the front of the market and is ahead of anything else in this motor show. So heritage is kind of context. It doesn't get you to the next step. What gets you to the next step are the brilliant engineers we have in the company.